She knows what she's doing. Notice how when she extends my head, look how my shoulder comes off. So it alleviates the pressure, right? So now I can't really get it in there. So now she's trying to get this knee on the inside to recover. I don't want that to happen. So I have to take my hand off. I block her hip. This hand goes over the head and then I flatten her back out this way. So one hand's over the head, one hand's right here by the hips, all right? If you want a real tight side control, you can reach and grab the pants right here and pull it in tight, right? Or if you have really long arms and you can get there, you can reach all the way around, grab that belt and it's super tight. But most guys will grab right here and they'll keep that second leg in tight. That way you can't base out. Me, I just put my hand here. The more she hip escapes, right? I just kind of lean on her a little bit, right? If I'm gonna put a little weight on her, I'll put my, I'll sprawl on my toes. Yeah. Put that weight off. So I'm here. Now I'm gonna go under my choke from side control two. Once I'm here, my hand is by the hips. I'm gonna drive all the way through and I'm gonna drop between my head and my shoulder and I'm gonna put it right here on the inside of her hip. So I'm here, boom. And look how I'm trying to pot it up and I'm gonna grip. So even if she tries to hip escape, go ahead. I'm just keep, I just keep walking into it. This thumb comes inside the gi. As soon as I get it, I square back up to my knees. My elbow comes underneath the mat and I start to drive my elbows that way. But I make sure my elbow comes to the mat and then I pull, pull here. And I start to extend my hand. Paper cutter? Paper cutter chip.